I'm Sarah Gore and this is Open House NYC. Designer Nick Olson shows how he uses color, texture and pattern in a traditional Fifth Avenue abode. And we check out Penthouse Living LA style. We're in Chelsea for a stunning home with a terrace you won't want to miss. Plus, I visit 10 Corso Como, one of the Seaport District's most exciting new destinations. But first, designer John Barman shows how he gave each area of his client's sky-high penthouse a unique and memorable look. This is the first time I've ever done something like this. It's always satisfying when a project makes you expand your design vocabulary. Welcome to Open House NYC. Today I'm coming to you from this elegant yet sleek penthouse on Park Avenue South at the crossroads of the Flatiron and Nomad neighborhoods. The loft-like flow of the open entertaining spaces feature over 11-foot ceilings and huge windows. There's a terrace off the ultra-modern kitchen for those warm summer evenings and a fireplace to cozy up to when it gets a little brisk. The master suite is a relaxing refuge with a custom walk-in closet and its very own terrace, perfect for that morning coffee. It's one of three bedrooms in this nearly 3,000 square foot home. Let's get started down at an Empyrean penthouse in southern Tribeca with designer John Barman. John took the city as his inspiration and using his color acumen and distinct eye, orchestrated an interior that feels cohesive, exciting, and soothingly celestial. Take a look. Hi, I'm interior designer John Barman. Welcome to my client's apartment in downtown New York, close to the World Trade Center. This 6,500 square foot penthouse has taken two years to come to fruition. It's contemporary and colorful, though sophisticated, and I'm excited to show you around. When you enter this 80th floor apartment, you're immediately struck by the greatest view of the greatest city in the world. But for a designer, this is both a blessing and a curse. It's amazing inspiration. But how do you compete with New York City? I needed a layout that maximized the view but was conducive to living and entertaining. This space was going to be both the living room and the dining room, but I wanted them to each have their own identity. I'm known for my sophisticated use of color. So once I established the layout, it was time to work on the palette. For the living room, I developed this neutral gray background then I added these vibrant purple sofas, which I knew would contrast well with the gray carpeting. I then echoed the purple in the veins of the marble mantle. And I used these lush gray pillows with purple highlights that literally tie the color palette together. For lighting, I used this custom designed starburst chandelier. It brings sparkle and light into the room and also designates the space. To facilitate the transition between the living and dining areas, I designed the sculptural seating slash display piece. It gives gravity to the center of the room, and it's the first time I've ever done something like this. It's always satisfying when a project makes you expand your design vocabulary. The focus of the dining room is, of course, the table. I paired the white lacquer tabletop with these contemporary chairs with a purple leaf motif, purple being a theme throughout the space. It had to be comfortable for seating a lot of people, but also be a wow factor in the space. I also put in a 12-foot sideboard with plenty of storage. Because this is New York, you can never have enough storage. To complete the space, I put in the circular Mercasser ebony table. It takes advantage of this windowed alcove and gives a sense of balance to the space. But I knew I needed one more element to make the great room really shine. So I decided on lacquer walls that are sleek, sexy, and reflect all this light. And I liked the effect so much, I carried it into the hall. The library takes advantage of the high ceilings of the penthouse. The bookshelf is custom designed and 14 feet tall. I also built a flanking matching bar with display shelves because books always go better with a little refreshment. Between the two, I put this patterned coral carpet. For the furniture, I used white leather swivel chairs and a low profile sofa that doesn't compete with the view. This incredible view was also the inspiration for the layout of the master. I positioned the bed to put the world literally at my client's feet. And to keep the space peaceful, I concentrated the design elements to the floor. I put in this custom designed carpet with a transitional pattern. And last but not least, I put in this intimate seating area so my clients can enjoy the view and each other. 
My favorite projects are those that really challenge me. They bring out my most inspired design. And this penthouse has exceeded even my expectations. I hope you've enjoyed the tour. Stick around because up next I check out the Seaport District's most exciting new destination. See what I mean in just a few. Welcome back. Well, a lot has changed since I called the Seaport District home, most notably the recent addition of 10 Corso Como. This dynamic destination features a curated mix of fashion, art, design, and books, as well as a delicious restaurant. I recently joined Managing Director Avril Oates and discovered that 10 Corso Como is so much more than just a store. It's a touch of the Italian luxury lifestyle in Lower Manhattan. so wonderful to have you in the store. Yes. There is so much to see in here, I don't even know where to begin. So tell me a little bit about the history of 10 Corso Como. Carla Tassani is our founder, and she started the brand in Milan in 1991, and in many ways it was the first of its kind. She was a disruptor. Carla wanted to create a living magazine where she could have culture, art, food, fashion, design, all under one roof. This is like the adult version of a kid in a candy store. I can't wait to explore and look around with you. Let's get started. I have to say, I come in here, I look around, the colors are making me excited, they're making me happy. I want to see more. And that's the idea, Sarah. What we'd love is when you walk in the store to actually see all these items in easy pickup pieces. So right now, we're standing in one of our four pop-up spaces in the store, and we rotate these every three to four weeks, having a wonderful opportunity to actually work with Sidletti, the Italian design brand, to inject this humor, color, and all these wonderful home objects into the store. I love it, and I love that the store is always evolving. Every time you're into the store, actually have a different experience and a different surprise. Well, it keeps people coming back. It certainly so. does. <laughs> I love this bag in particular. It's by Petrotoni and tells the entire history of 10 Corsa Coma. It's such so a cool bag. So what trends are we seeing in home decor? In the lifestyle and design area of the store, we actually don't follow trends. What we like to do is really mirror the DNA of Ten Corsa Como, the Italian art and the design, working with artists like Sotsas, who designed the Memphis movement. So these designers are creating trends. They absolutely are. Yeah. So people will come here to just pick up little gifts, or serious collectors can come here too. And that's the point, our collections and our our assortment is so diverse. That's what I love about this store. There is something for everyone. That's what we try to achieve. <laughs> Welcome to the world of fashion at 10 Corso Como. There are so many trends this season, and we try to be flexible and really cater to all types of customers. But some of the key trends that I love is the micro bag, which is the perfect bag for the summer. I mean, that is the cutest Isn't little that? bag. And two other trends that I'm really passionate about are the pleated skirts and also the hybrid sneaker. So we've got the Raf Simmons, which is a very hot style this season, yeah. as well as the Prada shoe. I love the Prada shoe because it's like a dress shoe and a sneaker in one. It is and super comfortable. Let me show you some other exciting looks. Okay, now we're talking. So Avril, I love them all so it's so hard to choose but I think this is the winner. It fits you like a glove and you look perfect and you must be starving. I am and starving. Would you like to go and get something to eat now? I would love nothing more. Fantastic. Let's go. I have to say, Avril, I genuinely enjoyed our entire afternoon together, and what a perfect way to finish. Oh, thank you so much for being with us. We've really enjoyed ourselves, too. You're going to love this catch of Pepe. It's amazing. I'm sure I will, just like I enjoyed everything else in the store. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you for coming down to 10 Corsa Como. Thanks for having me. It's delicious.
Well, I'd like to thank Avril for a truly great afternoon. If that were there when I lived there for six years, I would have been in trouble. So get yourself down to 10 Corso Como. Take it from me. It is well worth the trip. And that Cacio Pepe, oh my God, to die for. All right, coming up in just a few, indoor, outdoor living at one of Chelsea's most famous and historic buildings. Welcome back to Open House NYC. Now we're in Chelsea at a penthouse in one of the neighborhood's most famous buildings, London Terrace. Take a look. Hi, I'm Jordan Shea of the Eklund Gomes team at Douglas Elliman. Welcome to Chelsea. Today we're going to be taking a look at Penthouse A at 410 West 24th Street, better known as London Terrace Towers. Constructed in 1929, it was the 20th, it was roaring, and for some reason we thought London needed to be in New York. From the landing we have the custom vestibule with a handcrafted fumed oak herringbone floor. To the south behind me I have the eat-in kitchen with custom everything. That's cabinetry, that's countertops and fixtures, but I'm going to go ahead and show you the great room first. So here in the great room, we have the dining corner, as well as the lounge area, which features the custom stone wood-burning fireplace, which of course, as you know, in New York, you can no longer have wood-burning fireplaces. We have ceilings of over 11 feet, and you have the casement doors, which open up and feature the north-facing views, which really is a history lesson in New York architecture. Let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of the apartment. Follow me. This pass-through library perfectly typifies this apartment and as much as the flow is seamless from room to room and experience to experience. Perfect place for the bibliophile or if you're like me and you just want your friends to think you are. Enough of this work. Let's go check out that master suite. And now we're in the master suite, which takes up about a quarter of the apartment. This master suite has two of everything. Two exposures, one to the south and one to the Hudson River in the west. Two walk-in closets, somebody who definitely loves their seasonal fashion. And two master baths, one of which has a secret escape, which I'll show you later. But first, I want to point out my favorite part about this room. Shh! Did you hear that? That's right, you didn't, because it is pin drop. Here, in the second of the twin master bathrooms, we have custom and sax vein cut marble, as well as a secret passage I told you about earlier. And it goes to, drum roll, the triple wrap terrace. Let's go to see. Now once open, these doors make it feel as though you truly have an indoor, outdoor shower. And now, without further ado, the triple wrap terrace, which has views in every direction, and features fully irrigated landscaping, entertainment, and multiple seating areas to enjoy the moments to the skylit city at night. In fact, every room of the apartment has access to these casement doors. And that completes our tour of Chelsea's Crown Jewel, Penthouse A at London Terrace Towers. I hope you've had as much fun as I have. Coming up in just a few minutes, we're taking it to the top with Penthouse Living Cali style. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Open House NYC. Well, we don't see penthouse living too often in Los Angeles, but that's just what we have here with this luxurious residence in Westwood. The two-story living room is an entertainer's dream, and those huge windows frame gorgeous vistas from the city to the sea. But there's plenty of other design surprises in this nearly 6,000 square foot home. See for yourself. Hello. I'm L.M. Pagano, and I'm so thrilled to welcome you to this penthouse. When I was presented with this project, I knew that the client wanted something that was more Parisian, more New York, but here in Los Angeles. It's elegant, romantic, and it's a perfect place for entertaining. There's so much to see, I can't wait to show you around, so let's go. What I first notice when I walk into this room is the expanse of these ceilings in here. It has a very loft-like feel, even with such an elegant interior. 
I love standing up on the landing because you feel like the president of the world. So this is the family hang, the guest hang, and when you want some private time, you go to the office. Well, it's a little bit difficult to work when you have this view. It strikes me every time I walk into this room. I mean, you just want to spin around in your chair and look at it, right? And when you want to change the mood in this room, you just put the privacy shades down. At the top of the stairs is the landing, and it's one of my favorite parts of this apartment. Framing this custom couch is a library space, a little cabinet, and this is uh, Philip Jeffrey's wallpaper. It's silver leafed silk, so you wouldn't think to touch it, but you should, because it's fun. The master bedroom, I really got to indulge myself interior design-wise for this client. We have custom silver leafed, hand-painted de Gournay paper on the walls. These blossoms fall down into this bed into the headboard, the pillows, the base, and even the floor. Probably the biggest indulgence besides the wallpaper in this master is this unbelievable vanity. Comprised of three sections, there's two giant armoires and a center makeup vanity with built-in lighting. And to complement this room, I wrapped the wallpaper all the way through the hallway to another magical place, her closet. There's three chandeliers, and when you turn around and go out of it and into her bathroom, you have a world of jewels on the ceiling. In this freestanding tub, you can spend your sunsets soaking away the day, relaxing. It's truly romantic. And no penthouse would be complete without a patio, and this one is to die for. This Outdoor patio is something that you almost never get with any apartments, let alone a penthouse in Los Angeles. It's a 2,000 square foot deck. It's extraordinary. Thank you so much for coming on this tour with me of Penthouse 5. I hope you enjoyed the designs. I hope you enjoyed all of the fabulous things about this apartment. See ya. Bye. Coming up after the break, we're with designer Nick Olson on the Upper East Side. This was really a dream project for a dream client, and I can't wait to show you guys around. Welcome back to Open House NYC. Now we join designer Nick Olson at his client's Upper East Side apartment. Nick made the home's classic layout feel fresh with bold color and pattern. This begins the moment you enter and continues through virtually every room. Take a look. Hi, I'm Nick Olson. I'm an interior decorator and welcome to my client's apartment on Fifth Avenue right on Central Park. In terms of style, I'm definitely a maximalist, but I'm also a classicist at heart. At the end of the day, as long as it's pretty and chic, I'm game for it. This was really a dream project for a dream client, and I can't wait to show you guys around. For any living room, I like to start from the ground up. So once I found this 19th century Sultanabad carpet, I knew what the color scheme would be. But honestly, the first thing you notice here are the mirror shiny blue lacquer walls. I wanted to maximize all light possible, so it really acts as a mirror throughout the room and the entire space. In a room this size, I like to create multiple seating areas. Honestly, I've never met a chair I don't like, and I brought in many styles and examples here. And don't forget to balance all your seating, especially your solid seating, with your pattern throw pillows. An open plan like this is ideal for entertaining, and you can't entertain without food, so let's go check out the dining room and the kitchen. This small dining room was originally completely open to the hallway, so I added this cased opening here to further divide the space. Dining rooms really only serve one purpose, which is of course to eat, so you might as well have something pretty to look at. So here I chose this hand-painted Chinese wallpaper by De Gournay. It's like spring in New York City all year round. Space is always at a premium in New York City, so I love features like this concealed wet bar off the dining room. It houses everything you need for a cocktail party. 
When I first saw this kitchen, it was your standard white cabinets, white marble counters, but it didn't suit my client and it didn't suit the rest of our schemes. So I lacquered the cabinets this rich wine red. It's both practical and stylish, which is what I think every good kitchen should be. I think we've seen enough excitement in these public areas of the home, but I want to show you where my client really likes to kick back and relax. Every home needs a place where you can curl up and watch TV, but this den also doubles as a guest bedroom. Wall-to-wall -wall carpet can get a bad rap. It often feels suburban, but here I've used wall-to-wall -wall sisal as a backdrop for this beautiful antique Chinese carpet. I also use wall-to-wall -wall sisal in the master bedroom. Taken together with the den we just saw, this master bedroom really creates a suite, like you're in a five-star hotel. Upper East Side homes tend to be traditional, but while I love classic decorating, I've really gone wild here with color, pattern, and texture, and I'm proud of the work I've done. Thanks for joining me, and I really hope I've inspired you to take risks in your own home. Thanks for watching. Like what you see on the show? Well, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We have so many more beautiful homes to share. It's all about love. Share these homes, you know?